Today I'm going to teach you how to kill the Fasani's Nightmare as a learner without breaking the bank. Collectively between this and the normal Nightmare I've got about 20kc in total but that doesn't matter because as you guys know 1kc is all I need to get this fucking job done. Starting off, you're going to want to wear this gear here, or at least match it to as close as possible. Most of us, obviously, because they're best in slot, any other boots are dead content. The Dragon Mace is 100% fine. This is your friend now. This is all you need. 30k, and it fucking slaps. Everything else, just match it best you can over in your inventory. Again, with the Mage Switch, you do need a Trident, but uh, any of these items is just a bonus. Don't worry about anything else, and a Blowpipe as well. The rest of it, just fill it with shit. Bring normal super combats and brews because if you're learning, you're gonna fucking need them. Now, if you do have the new Arceus spellbook and can summon Thralls, bring that as well. It's not necessary, but it does help a metric shit ton. A lot of people might sit there and be like, why are you using the Dragon Mace? Why not use a bludgeon? Well, fun fact for all the dickheads out there, the Dragon Mace is 110% a perfect weapon for this boss. It's 30k. It does fucking damage. It's not too much of a DPS drop from the bludgeon. And the spec from this bad boy is nothing but fucking damage. Other than the basics, you do need at least one normal Nightmare KC to be able to attempt this boss. My suggestion is either practice the Nightmare or go to a mess world and just fucking survive a KC. It's not very hard. And then you can start doing Fasani's Nightmare, which in my opinion is a hell of a lot easier and more clean. I'm going to go ahead right now and pre-pop with my stamina, super combat, and my fucking fishy fishies. We're going to put those bad boys away and we're going to grab two hard food. Two quamp -ba 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 bombs and two manjare or something better. Sea turtles actually would have been a better choice because fucking swag. I've got game sounds on as well so that you can identify the mechanics of this nightmare kill a hell of a lot easier. Sorry if they're loud and cancerous. Now this boss does have five phases. The hard food is purely for the final phase where it's... a essentially a DPS check. You want to use your potions for the majority of the fight purely because the hard food is going to come in handy a hell of a lot more when you need to get that extra damage out. The boss fight is definitely a hell of a lot easier with game sounds on. It's also worth mentioning that you're going to die here a lot. You're going to get a lot of deaths before you get your first KC. My encouragement is persistence and patience. Just keep practicing, keep going and you will get it. I guarantee it, especially if you follow this guide with this gear and that's a fucking King Condor guarantee. Don't forget to fucking like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. One, because obviously that means you got a big dick. And two, well it helps your fucking boy. The greatest RuneScape content creator on this YouTube platform when it comes to not only video content creation, but also streaming. We don't stream on Twitch because we're not fucking cucks. And don't forget to jump on the Discord, which is discord.gg slash bigdickenergy in your browser. That's all we've got to say here. We're going to go straight into the pool of nightmares. You might have to talk to this kind at the start if you need to. If not, we're coming in. First thing you're going to do is stay on top of summoning the resurrected greater ghost. Hit that bad boy now and just summon it every time you remember. Even if he's still up, he's got 30 seconds left, just summon it, why not? It's not the end of the fucking world. Nightmare wakes up, party on at all times. We're gonna pray mage for the meme. Now you got three different attacks. That is a mage attack. Take note on the sound. That's a range attack where she clicks and looks like she's gonna have an aneurysm. Now you just keep your prayer on and it's fine. Just keep left clicking, that's all you've gotta do. Not a very difficult boss. Now she does have specs that will happen randomly in any order. There's nothing you can do to predict them. We're gonna get our specs off here. Little mushrooms come out. Now here's a tip. You can damage her during this phase. If you're learning, this is my tip. Just walk around, dodge the black spots. Don't worry about trying to damage her, okay? Normally I will be doing DPS, but you can just try to walk around. You can also use these squares as safe spots on her. Now doing that is great, but it's like weeks walking when you're learning Vorka. Just fucking don't, because you're gonna die, okay? You're garbage, remember, okay? You're learning the boss, you're not a fucking good player. That's why you're here watching this fucking video. Back to business as usual, she's hitting me, she's doing fuck all damage. When she does this, the little Naruto run, just run out of the way. She's gonna run straight, regardless of the angle. Don't worry about dealing damage to her. Prioritize survival over DPS, because no matter what, she's fucking squishy and she's going to die. You're better off surviving and using your prayer. Drain her HP, she's just repeating the same attack. This is fucking humble as shit. Let the thrall finish her off there. This means little husks are coming out. If you've got a crush weapon on, fucking hit him with it. Nice and easy. Black circles. If you are husk, the black circles will not damage you. Keep your prey on, make sure you're switching the whole time. We're gonna go to a mage attack now. So you can take as long as you want here. As long as you're praying the correct prey, she will never hit through it. Normal nightmare will, for signings won't, because if you have got the wrong prey on, you're going back to London. Mushrooms again, so she'll do five of these black portal attacks. As long as you dodge the portals, you shouldn't have any fucking issues at all. Run over here like a good ball. If you do stand near the mushrooms, your attack speed will actually be lowered and your run will be turned off. You won't be able to turn your run on for a while, which can get you killed very fucking quickly. So keep that in mind. When the melee attack comes through, you'll see it. It's a big fucking screech. Get out of the way of the Naruto run. Thank you. She screeches really loud and does a lot of damage. And you have one less tick of time to be able to flick the prayer on. So always be prepared to throw the melee prayer on. A lot of people will strategize and just when she attacks, 
go melee prey. I recommend not doing that because once the fourth phase comes up, it becomes completely irrelevant. You're better off just getting used to flicking when she makes a fucking noise. It's very simple. Just go to McDonald's, order the wrong food. A Karen's going to screech eventually, and that's what she's going to sound like. The husk will damage you. Just tank it. It's not really a problem. You can do this boss essentially without food if you're good enough. The blood fury is a huge fucking part here. That's the first phase dead. Right there. Now for this, every single time a phase ends, it's going to summon one sleepwalker. And there'll be an additional sleepwalker every phase. For the first one, just kill the cunt with the trident. Our divine potion's worn off. We're going to super combat up. Business as usual. Just like the last phase. Absolutely nothing different here at all. Now she's used a spec where my prayers are switched around. Just like the normal nightmare. All that means is every prayer icon has moved one to the left. So melee is mage. Range is melee and mage is range. It takes a little bit to get used to that, but you'll be on top of it in no fucking time. She also just infected me with a parasite from the normal nightmare. You should know that. Sanfu Serum will clear that up and give you some fucking prayer points. This parasite will come out in a sec, and this is a terrible part for me because now it's going to heal the shit out of her. You can one hit the parasite if you bring something like a god sword. I don't give a fuck. You're going to out DPS the shit out of her regardless of your weapon. If you bring a bludgeon over the dragon mace, good on you. You're gonna find it even easier. But the Dragon Mace, I guarantee is fine. You don't need the bludgeon to get the kill. Now this phase, flowers come up. She's doing phases a lot harder than I can talk and I do apologize, guys. Now the flowers come up. It's same as the mushroom phase, okay? See how this is a safe spot? It's gonna be five portals of bullshit. You can hit her during this phase, but just focus on surviving. You don't always have to do damage. Make sure you summon your thrall. After that's done, they'll fuck off. We gotta go back to our mage phase now. Turn party off because we're maging. Don't worry about using augury because it's all about magic damage, not accuracy. That's why there's no point. You, like, you, you don't need to swap out of full bandos or anything, or Inquisitor. There's not really a lot I can explain here. It's just repeat this for three fucking phases straight. I'm just trying to keep up with the amount of specs she's fucking throwing my way, but it's nothing but range attacks, thankfully. She's fucking brain dead today. Okay, here comes a Parasite. Normally, I would Sarabru here if I absolutely needed to, but I don't because I'm at 97 HP, so I'm going to Sanfu Serum Sip and just keep fucking smacking this cunt. Send her back to Lumbridge. Very easy. Oh, black circles. You just gotta pay attention. Parasite comes out. Fucking smack it. Throw party on if you want to. If you are using a range attack on the parasite, it is guaranteed to hit max hit. You wanna do your absolute best never to walk or run under her. See so yeah, how she's gone to the middle. If she goes to the middle, it's gonna be one of these fucking things. That's all. So get out of the way. If you get hit by a black portal, you're gonna take up to like 65 damage. It's not fucking fun. So just move. Don't worry about damaging her. Just fucking move. Still only mage and range attacks. A very humble kill, which makes for a great example. Look at that. Now we've got multiple. Sleepwalker's coming through. You want to throw your blowpipe on here. You don't need the blowpipe on this phase either, but it does help. You've got to kill both of them before they come in. If all of them get in, it's an instant kill. You cannot survive that damage. If one survives, you'll get hit for about 50 to 70, depending on what phase you're on. Sit here, left click on the bitch, send it back to the lumbridge, hit her with that fucking bop. This phase is the exact same as the past two phases. Just act accordingly to her specs and deal some fucking damage. That's a melee attack there. Look at that. See how quick I was switching to my prayer? You'll get used to it. Don't worry. You won't be getting that the first time you're doing it. It's fucking difficult. Okay, I'm going to walk next to a mushroom. This is an example of what can go wrong. Now I can only walk. My prayer will slowly be draining and my attack speed is lowered. So just focus on, focus on surviving. Don't focus on doing damage, okay? It can happen. That's fine. Tagging her does help. Mushroom's fucking off. If you get tagged by a mushroom at the very start, you can turn your run energy on by the end of the mushroom phase. I have nothing else to explain here. It's fucking easy. Here come the husk. Crush weapon, instant kill. As I've been saying, phase one, two, and three are the exact same as each other. There's no difference. You just have to act accordingly to her specs and do some fucking damage. Left click the boss. She ends up going back to Lumbridge. She takes a nice little fucking nap. Mushroom time, that's easy. Just keep fucking walking, keep damaging the pillars. We can kill the pillars before the phase ends. I fucking hope. But if you get hit by a mushroom here, and you have to kill the sleepwalkers, you're kind of fucked. Luckily, I don't because I'm not garbage at the game. Sometimes you're just going to die here, and that's fine. Now, we've got three sleepwalkers. My strategy is to, as you've clicked one, right-click the other one so you don't ever misclick it. And as soon as you see the XP drop, click the other one. Kind of weird to explain, but it fucking works, trust me. Now we're on the fourth phase. So this phase is a little bit different to every other phase. What you'll find is if she does an attack, and you're already praying that attack. For example, I'm praying mage right now. If she attacks me with mage, which she won't, it's a melee. She will turn my prayer off. Luckily, she's not doing it right now, so it's kind of humble. See, that way, she's just turned my prayer off. I have to click it back on while she does her range attack numerous times. The other difference is she does melee attack a hell of a lot more, which can be kind of huge for people who are not prepared for it. So be prepared to flip to melee a hell of a lot more and be prepared that she will turn your prayer off if you're praying the attack that she intends to hit you with. Just a reminder to also not worry about this corner safe spotting too much because at the end of the day, you're fucking garbage. Wait until you can get a kill down comfortably before you start doing anything fancy like that. Other than those two mechanics changing on this phase, it's business as fucking usual. Summon the throw, hit it with that fucking left click. Save your fucking specs for the final phase because the fifth phase is a DPS check. So two specs should be fine with the dragon mace. Yikes, that's some black boys. Smack that cunt, there we go, looking good. Turn the range back on, turn party off. 
finish the fucking pillars and run to the final phase. You can just keep your distance and she'll never melee you, which is a good strategy, but it can drain your run energy. Just little things you can do to adapt to the kill. Now, when this phase is on, you can actually hit the pillars from the line and you can also step back one as well and still hit the pillar. Make sure you have your trident on long range. You should absolutely always have it on long range regardless of the content you're doing in this game because it's fucking broken. That was fucking risky. Fuck me. Two more pillars to go and then we'll fucking get a juicy drop, which hopefully is either the tablet or the fucking pet. In fact, I think I want the tablet more than the pet because I love the ground of this boss. The walk here is just fucking cancerous. For the final phase, before you kill this pillar, you want to make sure you have at least, well, as much HP as possible. I think I was lagging there. What the fuck? Perfect example. Perfect time to brew up. Take advantage of your pots. First time I've had to drink or heal at all this entire kill. I'm a fucking thick boy. Parasite comes out. I would recommend waiting. Let the spec finish. Get the parasite ready. Otherwise, we're going to have a slight problem. Let the throw hit the tower. That's fine. Come on, cunt. Come on out. Where is he? There he is. There's a boy. All right, get rid of the fucking parasite. It's okay. She's going to spec here. That's fine. It means absolutely nothing because it's cancelled once the tower is dead. Run over here. Get the final hit in. Summon the thrall. And there we go. All right, get your blowpipe on. Get ready. You've got four sleepwalkers now. And they are stalled a little bit. But as you hit one XP drop, right click the next one. XP drop, click it. Right click this one, XP drop, click it. One's gonna go in, yep, because I was too slow. That's fine, if one goes in, it's about 40 damage, so you can predict that's coming. 41 damage, we're gonna brew up and put on redemption. Now, it's nothing but a DPS check from here onwards. You do kind of need to rush this, this is where people use their dragon claws. I'm not a fucking pussy and I don't need to worry about that shit. So we're gonna walk around a little bit and show you what sort of challenge this brings to us here. So it's just non-stop black phase now. You got your dragon mace, it does fucking damage. Just keep fucking hitting the bitch. Two zeros in a row on video, really cunt. And then a three, holy shit, we're doing some damage, boys. You're gonna constantly take 15 damage as long as you dodge the black holes, you should be fine. Keep hitting the bitch. You got redemption on, so that way you can heal if you absolutely need to. There we go, now that's some damage. And you've got your hard food there to tick heat, which is the idea of leaving it for this phase. And it's non-stop just damage. A lot of people might rush or panic at this phase. I don't think it's necessary. As long as you dodge the black holes, you should be fine. I can take as long as I want here until I run out of potions. Just keep on hitting her. If the dragon mace would hurry the fuck up. Holy shit, cunt. I've never had such bad accuracy in my life. Oh, I'm not praying party. That might help. Maybe I should hit her with that. There we go. Now we're doing some fucking damage. One more hit. She's fucking dead. See you in kid. You're fucking garbage. Nothing like squeezing out a fucking turd, boys. For 200k of fucking blood runes, a terrible time. That's how you kill the nightmare. It doesn't matter what gear you're using, okay? Because at the end of the day, it's about how good you are as a player. So don't worry about needing a bludgeon or needing full inquisitors. Put on a fucking dragon mace, it's 30k. Get in here and smack this bitch on the fucking ass. My name is King Condor, and I approve this fucking message. Now suck a fucking fat one. See you later, cunt.